Hey everyone, back for one more update. Um, I bought a RC four wheel drive wireless winch controller back in, I guess early December. Installed it in the truck and about an hour later, it stopped working. So I emailed the vendor that I bought it from and they put me in touch with RC four wheel drive support and I spoke with Kenny quite a bit back and forth emailing uh, got him all the information that he needed sent the winch controller out to him and it just came back in the other night it took a while to get it back out to them and back because of the holidays it was a little slow to get the the shipping back and forth but it's back in the truck it's working Let's see if I can do this with the phone in my hand One of the things I don't think I ever highlighted for you guys is the locked up RC or that's an orange winch line that I bought for the truck. But the controller's working fine. Everything seems to be going pretty good. I was going to check it out for a little run today. Probably this afternoon. It's a little wet and damp and cold out today. So it's kind of messing with my ankle. But I'm going to get some double face tape. Some servo tape. Tape the controller down. It's going to be right about here. Where, this, where the two speed servo would go. I have no need for a two-speed servo in this truck with that 3500 kV Holmes Hobbies motor. That's a Puller Pro 540 standard can. And then we have the Holmes Hobbies BLE Trailmaster Pro waterproof ESC. I wasn't able to get the waterproof motor at the time. Uh, I'm thinking about maybe pulling it out, sending it back to them, have them waterproof it or swap it for a waterproofed one. But I have another project coming in that is going to have pretty much the same setup. And I'll show that to you guys probably in the next video. I'm waiting for the car to come itself. But at the Trailmaster BLE waterproof ESC. And I have a Trailmaster Pro 540 3300 KV. I'm kind of kind of loving these Holmes Hobbies motors and, and their ESCs, they work awesome. They're great little motors. They have tons of power. Never, never had an issue with it yet. I'll box it back up after. And I'll, I'll talk to you in the next video. Oh, also the Vanquish scale knuckles for this truck are on order. They're actually shipped. They should be here within the next couple days. So I'll do a video on those when they come. By then the other car should be here and all the parts for it should be here at that point as well. So I'll uh, see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. If you guys have any questions about anything I'm putting on the truck, anything about the truck, put it in the comments below. I'll answer it for you. I uh, know ordering stuff like, you know, Vanquish axles and uh, hop-up parts for cars, you're not quite sure what they come with or how they fit with things. I can tell you this, so far everything that I put on this truck Vanquish-wise has fit without a problem. The only thing I've had to modify in this truck is the bumper mounts for the wording made which is uh, mostly because of the Xeon winch it's an 8 scale winch that's on there if I had gone with a smaller winch I might not have had to, to fabricate bumper mounts for it but those are going to come off in the near future I guess probably when I paint the hard body I'll paint those black as well so you don't see them and I run a Turnigy 2.2 uh, 3 cell LiPo. 
and the Savok servos over here. And I have Vanquish Atlas transfer case and the Vanquish motor uh, plate for the truck, as well as the Vanquish top shaft. I highly recommend the top shaft. It takes all the slop out of the transmission, especially if you're not going to run the two-speed. Uh, there's a lot of slop in the transmission if you're if you're not running a two-speed setup in it. Same with the axles. I had a lot of slop in the axles on the truck when I first built it. Uh, the wheels would wobble all around. Now with the Vanquish axles, tolerances are so tight on it, it's, it's perfect. Yeah, I've talked to Harley over at Vanquish a couple times online when I was building this. He's absolutely awesome with the help on it. But that's it for this truck for today. I gotta go uh, get some things done around here. But I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Again, next video. We'll have uh, Vanquish scale knuckles for this truck, hopefully installed. And the new project, I'll show you that the Holmes Hobby stuff is going into. But again, if you have any questions about anything I put on the truck, anything about the truck itself, just shoot me a comment. I'll gladly answer it for you. Uh, if you want, we can go live and you can ask me some questions that way if you wanted to do that. Let me know if you want to do that. Uh, we'll do a live feed over YouTube or over Facebook. But uh, keep subscribing, sharing, and liking the videos for me. It's helping me out. It's giving me something to do while I sit and recover. Thanks. Bye.